Oh, there go two things. They just went by on the bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? Okay, I'm going to stop my capture. Hey everybody, I'm Matt. I wanted to show you how this adventure began last night. So I had this solar system uh, and I guess night sky simulator up called Stellarium. And it just struck me how many satellites are in the night sky at any moment. You can see here there's easily over 100 in just this little view I'm looking at right here. But as we pan around, you know, they're all over the place above us. And we can't see them because they're not reflecting the sun correctly. Uh, to be able to catch a glimpse of them. Every once in a while you can, but the vast, vast majority of these hundreds that are up there above our heads, we cannot see. Uh, the moon is almost full right now, so I thought, hey, there's a pretty good chance that one of these is gonna pass in front of the noon. And even though some of them look like they might pass in front, like this guy, this guy here, you can see it's just gonna barely miss. It wasn't until I got to about 10.33 that one actually skirted the moon and here we go 32 let's get 33 boom right there you can see at 22 33 27 is when it entered the moon and then 29 is when it'll leave and so i had this one satellite that looked like it would pass right through the middle. And I'll play that again. 3327 enters, 3329 it's gone. And so I wanted to see if I could capture that. We can look this up. You click on it, you see it's startling 3977 and you can see it's at 541 kilometers. You can see that the satellite isn't sunlit so we can't see that uh, satellite. We just know it's up there. The goal uh, was to capture this thing zipping across the moon, and you can see it's gonna come in from the right and kind of diagonally go from top to bottom. And so I'll just get my telescope kind of pointed at the middle of the moon, somewhere where I think it's going to uh, pass over that spot, and uh, we'll see if we can catch this thing. Uh, Stellarium says that at 10.33 and 27 seconds, which is about 90 seconds from now, a uh, Starlink satellite is going to go in front of the moon. So I've got my computer here ready. I'm going to start taking some shots and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so 20 seconds to go. We'll see what happens here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nothing. I didn't see anything. Oh, there go two things. They just went by on the bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? Okay, I'm going to stop my capture. That might have been it. It was just 20 seconds late. All right, I got to go see what I got. That was that was crazy. I saw two things fly across the bottom of the screen. This is a quick replay of the screen capture, and you can see it's just one object. And I'll be able to get a better view of this uh, when I pull the actual camera footage. I'll show you that in a second. Here's the footage from the actual camera. As you can see, the atmosphere is really unstable. That's why this shot of the moon is so wavy. And it's also why I'm not gonna be able to get a nice clear image of anything tonight, especially something like a Starlink satellite that's less than 20 feet across and I'm shooting it from 630 miles away. Uh, so this is slowed down a little bit so you can see it. Uh, and the prediction was off by a few seconds, but we definitely got it. And I think this is something I might try again when the moon is higher up in the sky so that there's less atmosphere to photograph through. And also the satellite will be twice as big. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.